decimals, percentages, and fractions. You have different numbers. And when you compare which one has the more value, let's work on that. I have four options here. Which one has big value? I don't know. That's 29. This is 30. That's 95. This is one point. I have no idea. So let's make sure they all have the same version. The version I prefer is the decimal. So this is already decimal. I don't have to do anything. This is already decimal. I don't have to do anything. But that fraction bothers me. I want to write this down uh, as a, uh, as a uh, decimal. So let's calculate 1 over 5. Using the calculator, 1 over 5 will give me 0 0.2. And let's write here 0 0.2. So this is actually 0 0.2. And how about 30%? 30% means 30 divided by 100. Using the calculator, you will be getting 0 0.3. So when you write down all the options in, uh, in this uh, decimal mode, the next thing you want to do is make sure you have the same number of digits for each options. Over here, I have one, two digits. Over here, I have one, two digits. Over here, I only have one digit. So I want to make this uh, two digits. How do I do that? By adding zero at the end. So now this is still 1.3, but in two digits format. And how about here? This is also two, one digit. So I, by adding zero, I am making it two digits. It doesn't change the value. It's still 0 0.2, but it has two digits right now. Now I can compare better. 0 0.2. So this seems big. I want to choose that. Next is 0 0.95. No, now that became less. This became more actually. And how about this? 0 0.30. Still 0 0.95 is bigger. How about here 0 0.29 still 0 0.95 is bigger so in value the bigger number is 0 0.95 the option c is the correct one next this is a decimal and i don't have more decimals so i have to turn the rest of them into decimal so 9.9 .9 percent means 9 Point nine percent divided by one hundred means zero point zero nine nine. So I'm gonna write down here zero point zero nine nine. How about C seventy five percent? Let's calculate that seventy five percent divided by one hundred. That's zero point seventy five. So this is 0 0.75. Last but not least, 8 over 15. Let's calculate that. 8 over 15 will give me, okay, 0 0.53333. So how many should I write down? Let's write down 0 0.53. All right, so let's, Second step, let's make sure every single option here has the same digits. So I have two digits here. I have three digits there. So I'm going to go back here and make sure this one has three digits as well. This one has three digits. This one has three digits. That one has two digits. By adding zero, I am making it three digits. This one has two digits. By adding zero, I am making it three digits. And actually, I'm supposed to add 3, right? So because that goes on and on. I remember the calculator. 5, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3. Anyway, now every single option here has 3 digits. And I'm going to choose 533. But then I'm going to choose 750. Actually, that's bigger. And I'm still going to choose 750 because this is just 0 0.99. 750 is bigger. And... I got 890 here. So that's actually bigger than 750. So the biggest, uh, bigger in value, the option is A. Last example, which option is bigger in value? 
this is decimal this is not decimal 85 percent is 85 percent divided by 100 is 0 0.85 0 0.85 and then 5 over 10 let's call it's half but let's calculate it 5 over 10 is 0 0.5 0 0.5 here last 75 over 100 how about that 75 over 100 that will give me 0 0.75 0 0.75 i got two digits here i got one digit here so let's make sure it has two digits i have two digits there i have one digit here now it's really important you follow this step otherwise now before i add zero look at that the number i see is 0 0.9 and then i see 0 0.85 and 0 0.50 0 0.75 seems like i want to go with that answer actually but they all to compare better they all should have the same number of digits and when you need to do that when you add zero here this 0 0.9 turns into 0 0.90 and you know 90 is bigger than 85 so that won't be the right option here so the biggest is 90 this is 50 this is 75 that's the right option let's practice <laughs>